what's going on EDC people and what's our journey today we are taking a look at the Hogue six hour Legion X5 in spear point Okay, so let's get started by talking about the specifications on this guy. Uh, I have a ruler here. I believe the blade is three and a half inches, which it is. And the handle is four and three quarters, if you go all the way to the end. So four and three quarters for the handle and three and a half for the blade. And of course that gives us uh, eight and a quarter inches overall. Okay, so I want to talk about, oh, well, let's do the weight actually also. It is a button lock in ounces. We have 4.8 and let's just reweigh that to be sure. Okay, zero it out. 4.8 ounces in grams. 136 Let me just triple check that because yeah 4.8 okay So 4.8 ounces of weight Eight and a quarter inches overall um, the regular versions of the x5 have the sig emblem here the legion has the arrows um, it does line up with the legion sig sour firearm the sidearm uh, i don't know if it kind of coincides with it i did look up a picture of it i didn't really get any specific details uh, that looked a lot like this per se but um you know it line there is a six hour legion firearm and there's a six hour legion x5 and this is the legion x5 um the blaze seal is uh let's see so it says on this side six hour usa x5 it's obviously a coated blade or a sierra coat or something uh cpm 154 so not not 154 cm but cpm 154 so that's good made by hogue but the blaze steel cpm 154 that's great it's got kind of this harpoon uh spot that you can put your finger on you can and of course just like any harpoon when you're locked in there it feels excellent and i can't really complain much about the blade uh the blade itself is sharp i like the steel um hogue does a great job with their sharpness i'm not sure how much this has been used this is provided to me today by the passeron group um the apex passeron group and I, I believe many people have taken a look at this. So I'm not sure, uh, I believe it needs to be cleaned pretty well and re-oiled, um, which is something that I don't think the Goop wants us to necessarily do as I believe these come from the manufacturer. We pass it around and get to make videos about them but don't keep them. Um, so my point to this is this is I've seen a lot of hands and so I, I can't blame all of the pro my complaints about this knife on Hogue um, as I, I believe a lot of it is is misuse or miscare or um, or just general maintenance needs needs to be cleaned now we'll start um, I want to talk about the general uh, aesthetics it looks kind of cool. It has that Batman vibe, right? The Batmobile, uh, you know, look kind of like something you'd see on his tool belt for sure. But in doing that, it also has many a, a sharp point and, and sharp edges between the pocket, um, well, the flipper tab, uh, the points here, the points here. When it's deployed, this point here we'll talk about more specifically. But even this point, this point. Um, and when you deploy it, 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 it feels like 
a knife that uh, I believe that there are versions of this and maybe it's the X5 that's not the Legion that's assisted and it almost feels like this should be because it's got this big flipper tab and this big landing zone which you need because it's to deploy it at least this one which again could be a result of of just needing to be mean you know having some maintenance on to it which i can't quite do um it doesn't deploy reliably but i do know how to deploy it you know knowing how to deploy it i can deploy it re reliably but just going into it um it took you know i i can fail it quite quite easily is what i'm trying to get at it's very easy to fail now i believe one of the you know kind of trademark uh features slash functions slash uh whatever of this knife is the audible sound when you retract the blade so i'm going to go to the very top and i'm going to use it and go all the way down to see see how the landing zone is cut out right there you need all of that oh see and i still feel i am under the camera but Oh my goodness see you can see it's okay let me just there we go okay it has the push button with a slide lock so you can keep it locked open you can't push the button now and then when you do and there is some um, lock stick on this knife again probably just be, needs to be cleaned and oiled but if you listen anyways hit the button and it falls and it falls to about this position and then you got to push it in and the resistance i can exp uh, describe to you is kind of similar to that of a i did not bring the knife out of course i was going to show you a kershaw that has an assisted opening but it has this this like pull in feature which gives it this audible click sound where you have to push it in to, to go overcome that that um, crossbar button lock detent kind of effect if you understand what I'm saying to kind of get it internally to push this thing around that rod which is the button lock it's kind of like a reverse detent where you're pushing over that to pull it in i don't know if it's if because it's a firearms company you know like it adds to the like the click click you know like the sound is like if it's that that's what they want out of it but it's not going to fall into place you have to pull it in but you know it does have an attractive kind of uh ta super tactical um you know uh design ergonomics on it here's something that we got to talk about in a certain position you know in one single like saber grip position um it's comfortable to me with my hand size and you can see my pinky starting to go up here because it barely fits in and i don't have huge hands okay i mean i i've never actually measured my hand but just for the sake of it um you know across my palm is three and a half you know uh four inches if i go even further but you know if i go from where i'm going to actually carry the knife you know you're looking at three and three quarters inches um it, it in that one position it tucks me in nice and good in between these two you know because your index finger goes here behind the flipper tab and then your other three fingers go here and it's very tight it's a tight spot the, this little area here this swoop is not big enough for me and so I feel like it will be not big enough for a lot of people if you have much bigger hands you're gonna to have to end up keeping a finger around the back that's one thing I dislike about it and I feel like it's screaming for a front choil that would free up so much space somehow if they could incorporate a finger choil here instead of all this migaligook and then somehow did this design I don't know they would have to really redo it basically to do what I'm saying but um, so I, I realize it's not very feasible um, but again I like the blade shape I like the you know it, it is fairly thin um, let's take some measurements there I should have done this back when we did the specs but whatever um, so 
the stock thickness at its thickest is 0.15 so it's not that bad um, the handle is 0.58 inches let's switch over to millimeters just to satisfy everyone in the world four point okay hold on three point eight five is that right? Three point, it's close, we're getting closer to four. Um, yeah, but that, that's at its thickest. Okay, and then the handle, 14.6. Um, <clears throat> as far as the tall, the height, the, the whatever, um, from the top of the harpoon to the bevel very lightly is 32 millimeters. Um, if we switch to inches, One point three two, one point three three inches of height of, of and it's a flat grind. Well, uh, it's got a okay. So it's got this swedge with the harpoon. I was almost called it a flat grind, and really I shouldn't have. It's got the swedge with the harpoon. It's got a flat here where you see it say Sig Sauer USA X X five, and yes, it is USA made. So yes, go home team. Um, as a uh, well whatever um, and then from here to here is that flat grind to the apex I wish it, it has a decent sharpening choil um, you know really for me I don't like this the pull-in thing I really don't like how it deploys but I'm I'm really thinking that's more of a clean and oil issue because I can't imagine this being what they put out the door I, I really feel like this model is just just needs maintenance and then it probably will be flip more flippable but the ergonomics for me is where it really um, doesn't perform I don't like that it's so tight on my hand and if it's tight on my hand it's going to be tight on your hand too um, I would imagine because like I said I don't have huge hands I'm not, I'm not a not a bear <laughs> um, there's a comparison pivot to pivot with the Wii banter I'm trying to block the sun a little bit because I am filming outside the top one obviously being the Delica maybe it'll be more helpful if I just go butt to butt you can see this is quite a bit longer than both of those the handle on the Delica is shorter yeah there's nothing really of comparison to it there the height though of the blade is similar to and the um, well the height of the blade is similar to the banter in a way but the banter is much thinner and much more flat and much more short but even being that short much more short it's more comfortable because of that neutral grip you see with this with this index finger locked in here and your other three fingers locked into this tight group groove swirl whatever it's just not the best now you can one thing i do like is you can press the button while your fingers in there and all you have to do is kind of go like this so maybe that's another thing maybe maybe they were thinking people would you know do it like that i'm not sure guys I'm just not sure. So once you get used to it, you can deploy it reliably. If this model is not just dirty and this is the way it is, um, you can do it that way. Okay. In other words, so deploying it becomes not a problem. Retracting it, you've got to pull it in every time. The safety switch we discussed. Um, I, you know, and then I've got to tell you, it's it's mostly my big my biggest complaint with the knife beyond the ergos is the hot spots there's just so many damn points on it to, that that can uh, truly hurt i mean that, that that's not nothing this is aluminum aluminum with a g10 inlay okay you have f smooth g10 here and very grippy g10 here and there's the legion logo i assume where it normally would say sig there's the, the, your safety switch there's the button lock that's depressed because it's not deployed 
pivot in the pivot uh, area let me zoom in on it oops you can see it's kind of got like a triway coliseum step system going on there kind of cool but it, you know it's a torx bit cpm 154 blade that i love this pass around one does have a little bit of scratch up on it but the coating even looks nice on it the blade uh bevel is nice on it you can see some of the again the wear um in the just the general it just needs general cleaning and maintenance i think i really believe that's a lot of the problem with this knife the pocket clip in hand i love the design of the pocket clip this indent is right where my palm goes and where it comes back up and off of the blade is it gets it's easy to catch under you know get your stuff on you know uh put, put it over your pocket and i don't it raises up inside my palm so i don't feel that is one very positive thing i don't feel the pocket clip almost at all let me get rid of this it's too shiny you get the point please subscribe to my channel and thumbs up if you're still here watching yes uh that is what birdshot says and i just basically copied it <laughs> so i guess i'm interested in what you guys think about this knife you know um it, it it's not my style in the end uh it's not really my taste but it was a hogue it was a sig i wanted to take a look at it it had a cool look on the picture when i saw it in the past around group i just i'm not a fan of the way that this this is that's all it's just not my style um this may speak to certain people you know what i mean and if this does call to you if this look is something that that is something that you love i mean great go for it um i will try to leave links below if possible if i remember please i hope i remember um but this uh is the hoag sig x5 legion made in the usa also the pocket clip i should mention where it goes down is on a smooth surface so it, it is easy to go in and out of pocket it is ambidextrous i should also mention although wouldn't you need i may have i, I think i mentioned this in the unboxing i have to check the box and see if there's another clip because i would imagine you need another clip based on how this is designed um and i'm not sure if it's in the box or not and again being a pass around knife it, it may be that the, the clip just wasn't included um but my that those are my feelings on this knife guys what do you guys think so, i mean those are the specs that's the general overview you know it's an aluminum body with g10 inlays it's got the sig uh legion emblem on it um it is comfortable in hand but only in one position ergonomics are an issue with it the blade is nice it's cpm 154 um the harpoon section is handy to lock in with your thumb and again in that one position that you can hold it in with your saber grip and your thumb in that position when you lock in you can get some good cuts in i mean really it, it, you lock in in a great position and that blade has a very nice um uh geometry to it that allows you to just really slice nice and nice and smooth but my problem with it is I'm not a fan of the action. I don't like having to pull it in. That's half the reason I don't like, um, that's half of the reason why I don't like assisted knives. The other half is that I, they're a pain in the butt to disassemble and I wanna be able to always disassemble and maintain my tools. Um, anyways, that having been said, this is, would be easier to disassemble, at least in my eyes. Uh, it's just a simple button lock. Um, however disassemble at your own risk i don't know what hoag's warranty is and i have not done it so i'm saying this having not done it but take the good look let me see if i can peek in here a little better so yeah see how how grimy it is it's definitely needs service cleaning <laughs> but take a look at how nice and big that stop pin is though that is a decent sized stop pin and then you have this nice large landing zone which you need I, I will be honest with you you absolutely need that landing zone i can't quite do it on camera i'm trying uh, i don't want to hit the tripod 
you see how my fingers like all the way back so to deploy it and to deploy it to its full position you absolutely need to have uh that that ramp there and that or not ramp but that landing zone and that landing zone is i can say comfortable it also has that two scales two sides put together to make it look like an uh, integral look kind of going on there <sighs> one negative about the pocket clip well you know it is it is ergonomically comfortable the way that this knife is designed um however it would probably have to be redone if it was done the way i like it anyways um but it does stick up so like it can catch things easily so while it is nice to get in and out of pocket it's cantered kind of at a strange angle strange angle as a deep carry clip you know you can let me put the blade away you can see that um you know if i put this in my pocket and the seam is there you know it's not gonna it's gonna just i guess it's it's hard to explain but it's, it's just a strange angle for that clip to be at consider consider your pocket swoops kind of like this yeah I, I mean it's okay it's all right but it doesn't take care of that big pocket um uh destroyer <laughs> hammer that uh so this is one of those knives that uh, i don't share pocket space with uh and you know that's basically what i had to say about this knife guys i i it's not entirely up my alley um i wanted to get a chance to take a look at it just thanks to the pass around group and share it with you folks if anyone's interested in this knife again i will try to leave details on information on places it might still be available or others like it um in the description if you give me some time after it's uploaded that having been said it's in the per it's personally just not my taste so while um, that is my look at the knife. Um, I'm going to pass it along from here to the next person on the list and uh, move on. Have any questions, comments, leave them down below. Give me a thumbs up. And as always, if you don't mind, please, um, if you're not already, subscribe to me, EDC Journeys. And have a great day, guys. Thanks for tuning in to EDC Journeys for my overview of the Hogue Sig Legion X5 Spear Point. Hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like my content. Have a great day.